Seeing it's been quite some time since I've done a Half-Life Deathmatch video, uh, let's go back to the uh, PS2 port and talk about Debris, which is a solid little map that I'm actually kind of sad never was, you know, ported officially to the standalone PC version. Uh, not just because, you know, it's a nice little skirmish map for a couple of people, but, you know, I feel compared to some of the other, um, you know, I played a few of these um, PS2 Deathmatch maps, uh, this is the first one exclusively to that game that kind of has some of the dynamicness of, like, the original PC version in terms of, like, movement, jumping around and stuff. Because, obviously, a lot of... They, they were thinking more so of, you know, people playing a controller, I feel, um, with some of the maps. And that, I'm not saying they're bad. Like, you know, Skirmish, Water Canal, and Office were not bad maps. But you just look at them, you can see that they're just simpler in terms of movement and what they expect of you. This is a little bit more akin to what you'd expect on the original PC version, so that's why I think I'm a little bit... F I'm quite fond of it, you know? Alright, so let's start in this little area here. Uh, the thing is, this is loosely based off, again, once again, off the um, chapter of the campaign, uh, Surface Tension. Um, not, not really any specific map, but it has pieces of like all the different ones. So this is a good place to start. There's this little sniper area. You can get crossbows, some grenades, stuff like that. Obviously, this could be really useful. I don't need to tell you why exactly. And right away, I think you can see the sort of dynamicness I'm talking about where, you know, there's places to jump around up here. You can even jump through here. You know, things like that. So let's go back this way real quick. You got this little... You can't actually get on top of this building, I'm going to tell you right now. That's something that actually is a little slightly disappointed me when I played this. But, you know, it's not too big a deal. So yeah, here, let's go into like the little concrete building that's blown out because that tends to be what happens with buildings that have been blown out. You know, especially if they're made of concrete, they look like this. I don't know what this tangent was about. Before we do that, I just remember, here's this little area over here where, you know, linking back to what I said you can't get up, it teases you a little bit by making it look like there might be something up there, but there's not. What is up here is a claymore and some snarks, which I think this is the first time the snarks have showed up in the, uh, the original kind of... PS2, like, kind of, like, you know, maps original to the PS2 version. That's neat. Um, yeah, obviously really good to, to throw around in here. Um, coming back this way, you got some nice places to hide. Not a lot of actual weapons in this little bottom floor, just supplies. Things like that, which isn't a problem. You know, especially with the intention that this is made with just two people in mind, that helps a lot. I'm going with eight. That's, again, my favorite, my stay, like, you know, my old standby eight. It works really well, in my opinion. Um, you know, probably any more than that, and it just becomes too much of a cluster chuck. But, you know, to each their own. Um, yeah, you got you got two revolvers here, which I keep forgetting about. So that's good. You want to take advantage of that ASAP. Especially with the explosives, too. Get the explosives and the revolver, and you basically have every situation covered on the ground floor. Um, we'll, we'll get up to the top in a second, but there is one more little outside area I want to talk about over here. As you can see, the shotgun is here. Get that immediately. And again, here's some area you can climb up. Now this, you gotta be careful with your jumps here. It's a little bit hard. I think, oh well, I forgot there's one more level. If you go up this way, still can't get on top of the building, unfortunately. But now, you can jump over to get the long jump, but there's always a must. And you can jump over here, get some med kit and healing goodness. That's always a, a plus, if you will. What are you looking at? Um, so yeah, now let's talk a little bit about the little small upper area here, which you can obviously get up to by just like, you know, climbing up here. Get the submachine gun. I believe there's one more in this map, but I think I might have walked past it earlier in one of the outside areas. I'll check. Now, you don't need the long jump to get over here and get the rocket launcher or even get up to these areas. But it'll obviously help a little bit. And you can do some pretty nifty acrobatics, assuming you don't make an ass of yourself like I just did there. You can jump around all around, have a good time, get another shotgun. And, uh, yeah, that's... Let me just check out that one submachine gun I forgot about. You can also get up there, too, if you want a place to, like, kind of just, like, hide out. But that's really it. Really nice and simple. Um, the machine submachine gun is somewhere. Where, where is it? Hold on. I swear I'm not crazy. Maybe I am. I don't know. Let me just take a little quick look here. Because I swear I picked up one from outside. But then again, I've only actually played this once. It has to be out here. Yep, there it is. I forgot about the corner here. It's also where you can spawn. So yeah, if you spawn there, get the SMG ASAP. And really, that that's it. Um, definitely the most dynamic so far. Outside of Skirmish, it's kind of like, you know, little destructible environment gimmick. But, you know, that's just kind of a cute little novelty where this map is actually designed kind of interestingly compared to some of the other deathmatch maps we played on that version. So, yeah, let's check it out. 
Shotgun, I don't really need to, to tell you, and I don't even know why I'm saying this, but uh, it goes without saying that the shotgun is stupid effective here. You know, just seeing how close quarters this is. I mean, assuming you can aim, unlike me, so... But yeah, de 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 definitely, if you spawn here, you need to basically make a bum rush. Because if someone else grabs it before you do, it... Wow. Oh, well, now it's effective after I stopped socking the big cock, but you know... I know, it goes without saying, if you spawn there... I'm pretty certain I turned observation mode off. Hold on a second. I don't like when things don't go they're like they're supposed to. There we go. Thank you, Doom Guy. You gave me a nice good shot in the head there. And just immediately decides to... Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Obviously, you don't want to be hanging around the center area here on the bottom floor without anything stronger than the... If you don't have anything stronger than the pistol, get, get running. There's no um, AR grenades, um, submachine gun grenades here as far as I'm aware. Which is probably for the best because you just have people spamming it in the center area there. So, you know, that's no good. That's more what I'm talking about right there. Yeah, obviously I don't recommend running at someone with just a crossbow when they have a shotgun. But again, I don't think I'm really teaching anything by telling you that. We'll go for another match, though. Oh, good. And then right when you try to throw snarks and they all come right for you. Just my luck. I mean, uh, if you don't, if you, t it's too dangerous to grab that submachine gun because of people, I mean, shotgun because of people around, go up here first, because at least there's, um, well, that was a good shot. Um, at least go up there first, because there, is, there might be the one, uh, satchel charge are there to try to give you an edge. I mean, you want to kind of go up there anyway if the, uh, long jump is currently in game. There's no reason not to. Obviously, this could be a good little camping spot, too, if you feel like being a cheap ass, just waiting up here and waiting for people to... Spawn so you can headshot them. I mean, assuming you don't suck at aiming like I do. 